Okay, uh, so let us continue with the numerical. Okay, so this is numerical number six that was solved in uh, the class on May sixth. Okay, so uh, <coughs> two shaft A and B are coaxial. Okay. Gear C is rigidly mounted on shaft A. A compound gear D E gears with C and an internal gear G. D has twenty teeth and gears with C, and E has thirty-five teeth and gears with an external gear G. The gear G is fixed and is concentric with the shaft axis. The compound gear D E is mounted on a pin which projects from an arm keyed to a shaft B. Sketch the arrangement and find the number of teeth on internal gear G, assuming that all gears have the same module. If the shaft rotates. Shaft A rotates at 110 rpm. Find the speed of shaft B. Okay, here the interesting thing is uh, sketch the arrangement. Okay, in other words, this sketch has not been provided to you. Okay, the question will be in the text form, and then you have to read the question and understand what does it mean. Okay, so so uh, so that's the challenge. All right. Anyway, so let us see if it makes sense. Okay, so two shaft A and B are coaxial. What do you mean by coaxial? So in the sense, it is on the same axis. It's it's not attached to each other, but it's on the same axis. So this is shaft B here, and this is shaft A. Okay, fine. Next sentence. Gear C, which has 50 teeth, is rigidly mounted on shaft A. Okay. So this shaft A on this gear C is over here. Okay, see, all of you can see, right? So gear C. Okay. They have given that as 50 teeth. Then a compound gear D E gears with C. And an internal gear G. Okay, so with the C, C is in mesh with the compound gear D E, where is in mesh with the D. Okay, and D and E are on the same shaft, and then E is in mesh with the internal gear G. Okay, so this is how you have to understand. All right, the gear G uh, and gears with the uh, here D has 20 teeth. Okay, they have given the 20 teeth. And gears with the C, so that's what I said. And E has 35 teeth and gears with internal gear G. So E will uh, mesh with the G. The gear G is fixed and is concentric with the shaft axis. Okay. So that means it is a it, it it's it's a it's a big a huge gear and and its act its a, a center is the center of the axis though it is not attached to it. Okay. The compound gear D E is mounted on a pin which projects from an arm key to a shaft B. So this is the arm, okay, and it is connected to shaft B. All right, okay. So sketch the arrangement and find the number of teeth on internal gear G, assuming that all gears have the same module. And if the shaft A rotates at 110 rpm, find the speed of shaft B. Okay. Now shaft A, shaft A means shaft A uh, gear C is on shaft A. That means the speed of gear C is equal to speed of shaft A. So when I say that shaft rotates at 110 rpm that means gear c rotates at 110 rpm okay and then they ask find the speed of shaft b okay. so the shaft b what is attached huh. the arm is attached the arm is attached to the shaft b so if you find the so we are supposed to if you know the uh, speed of arm which is equal to nothing but the speed of uh, shaft b also okay so this is the side view sectional side view and this is the front view all right. So gear G is the internal wheel or outside wheel. Gear C is in the center, and D E is the compound gear. C drives D, okay, and E drives G. Okay. So this this sketch, okay, um, eventually you are supposed to draw because in 80% of the time they will give the sketch, but in 20% they will give you the text, very very uh, uh, predictable text, okay, and then you are supposed to draw this. All right. So usually it will be a, a a central a sun C and then a compound gear D E and then a ring gear. Okay, or internal ring gear one or two. Okay, uh, two. Okay. In in this case the outside gear is only one where gear D is in mesh with the gear G. Okay. They might give one more gear where gear E is in mesh with the internal gear one more gear. Okay. Like we saw in the previous example. Okay, fine. So the first thing you know that we have to calculate the teeth on all the gears. So obviously the uh, uh, number of teeth on gear G is not known. So first we have to calculate that. All right. Okay. So solution. Let us calculate. So how do you calculate um, uh, the number of teeth on uh, gear G? Okay. We know that expression from the figure. 
R G for radius of G is equal to radius of uh, gear C plus radius of gear B plus radius of gear E. Okay, we know that. So substitute. You know that it is equal to M into the uh, T. So since the module are the same, why? Because they, they are given here. Assuming that all gears are the same module, so M is common. So that goes off. Hence you can calculate this, and you know that you can get that the number of teeth on gear G is one not five. Okay. So next this expression. Okay. Uh, this problem is solved in RS Kurmi, so you can always have a look at it. Okay. But this is all the same. It's the condition of motion arm. Okay. And then comes the gear C. Okay. Gear C, which is attached to shaft A. So this is the, this is the same. All right. Then compound uh, D E and then the gear. Okay, uh, this arm, the speed of arm is nothing but shaft B. Okay, keep that in mind. So fix the fix the uh, arm, arm fix. Okay, fix the arm and give one rotation to gear C. Okay, clockwise rotation. Then compound gear. So C is in mesh with the E. Oh, sorry, C is in mesh with the D. I'm sorry. Okay, mesh with D. So the train value is uh, T C by T D and then and minus symbol because the direction is opposite. Similarly to gear G. Uh, G drives C, gear C drives gear D and E drives gear G. Okay, hence when the direction is opposite, the direction of gear G and C are opposite directions, and minus product of teeth on the driver divided product of teeth on the followers. So once you get that, then uh, add x, uh, sorry, multiply x and add y, and you get this expression. Okay, once you know that, you can that uh, they have given that gear G internal gear is fixed. Gear G is fixed, so NG is equal to zero, and uh, the gears uh, gears shaft A rotates at 110 rpm. Okay, so shaft A is nothing but gear C. Okay, so I know two things. So I will substitute here that uh, speed of gear G is equal to zero. So this expression is equal to zero. Again, okay, so this is one, and then we know that the speed of gear C. Is 110 or shaft A is 110, so x plus y is equal to 100. So solving for the solving one and two equation, you will get x and y, and then the speed of you are supposed to calculate the speed of shaft B, which is nothing but the R, which is nothing but the y. Okay, so that is nothing but 50 rpm in the direction of the shaft A. Okay, or shaft A or in the clockwise direction. Okay, so I hope you understood this very simple. Okay, please go through this. Uh, you will understand more. Okay, all right. I'll uh, solve more questions and put it later.